Venous thromboembolism, or VTE, is a term that includes deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. Deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, occurs when a blood clot develops in a deep vein in the body. The most common place for this kind of clot to develop is the veins of the legs or pelvis, but clots can also develop in the arms, brain, or intestines. Not all DVTs break free, but if they do, it can be life-threatening. This is because the clot can travel through the circulatory system to the lungs and lodge in a main lung artery, blocking blood flow and causing severe strain on the heart. This is called a pulmonary embolism, or PE. VTE is common, affecting as many as 600,000 Americans. If you have been diagnosed with VTE, taking steps to prevent recurrence, knowing how to recognize symptoms, and seeking prompt medical attention are all critical to survival. Blood clots in the veins can form anywhere the blood doesn't circulate properly. This can happen because of damage to the veins, such as with surgery, because of impaired circulation, such as with extended lack of movement, and because of clotting disorders that make the blood thicker and more likely to clot. Many factors can make a person more likely to develop blood clots and DVT or PE, including surgery, serious injuries, inflammation and inflammatory disorders, cancer, use of a central venous catheter, lack of motion from hospitalization, extended bed rest or a leg cast, older age, pregnancy and the four months after delivery, use of certain medications like birth control and hormone replacement therapy, inherited or acquired clotting disorders, family history of clots, overweight or obesity, and smoking. If you experience any of the following symptoms of DVT, see a healthcare professional right away. Swelling, pain or tenderness, warmth in the swollen area, or red or discolored skin. DVT can cause long-term symptoms such as pain and swelling in some people. However, the biggest risk with a DVT is that the clot breaks free and leads to a pulmonary embolism. If left untreated, at least 1 in 10 people who have a PE will die within 30 days, so early recognition is key. Seek immediate medical attention if you experience any of the following. Unexplained shortness of breath, pain in your chest, back or side that is made worse with deep breathing or coughing, rapid breathing, coughing up blood or rapid heartbeat. In some cases, a PE can become immediately life-threatening and your healthcare professional may give you a clot buster medicine, also referred to as thrombolytic therapy, to quickly dissolve blood clots. This medication has a small risk of causing major bleeding, so it is only used in patients with extreme symptoms. In some cases, a procedure is necessary to break up the clot and increase blood flow around it. This includes balloon angioplasty and stent placement. Surgical removal of the clot or insertion of a filter to catch blood clots coming from the legs may be necessary in rare cases. If you have a VTE event, your healthcare professional will likely prescribe an anticoagulant medication or blood thinner to keep the blood clot from growing. Once you've experienced a VTE, the risk of it happening again is highest in the following three months, so your healthcare professional will likely keep you on an anticoagulant during that time to prevent new clots from forming. If your clot was caused by a temporary risk factor like hospitalization, three months of medication may be enough. However, if it's unclear what caused your VTE, or if it was caused by a risk factor that you still have, your healthcare professional may want to continue treatment beyond that time. Also, be sure to take your anticoagulant as directed, since missing a dose or taking it too late will leave you at a higher risk of new clots. In addition to taking your anticoagulants, be sure to manage your risk of VTE. Follow your healthcare professional's instructions if you are hospitalized or need extended bed rest. Approximately half of all VTE events result from hospitalization. Lose weight if needed. See your healthcare professional regularly.
Know the symptoms and risk factors for DVT and PE and seek immediate medical attention if you experience any. If you have symptoms of bleeding from your anticoagulant, including unexplained severe headache and black or bloody bowel movements, seek immediate medical attention. Together, you and your healthcare professional can prevent VTE and greatly reduce the risk of deadly complications. Brought to you by the Alliance for Aging Research.